In 1999, I became the youngest skipper ever to win a round the world yacht race. Four years later, I broke the solo monohull speed record, covering 468 miles in 24 hours. That's an average speed of 19.5 knots, and that record still stands. But records are there to be broken. Challenges are there to be undertaken. Hugo Boss, 3,000 kilograms of carbon, 25,000 man hours to build, three kilometers of rope, four tons of lead in the keel, a 30 meter mast, and 600 square meters of sail area. That's the equivalent of two and a half tennis courts. Speeds of up to 40 knots and a potential 500 mile day. 50 tons of force exerted on the keel and up to 9 tons exerted on any point of the sail. That's the equivalent of 6 family cars. November 2007, the Barcelona World Race. Two crew, around the world, 26,000 miles, non-stop. In the last few minutes, we just broke 500 miles in 24 hours. November 2008, the Vendée Globe, the single most difficult sporting challenge that exists on our planet today. 60 degrees south, and 2,000 miles from land. A wind chill of minus 20 on deck, 5,000 calories of freeze-dried food in a day, four hours sleep in 24, and always the constant noise of a jackhammer as the waves pound the hull and the sails strain against the forces of nature. Two and a half thousand people have climbed Everest. 450 have been in space. But only 60 have sailed single-handed, non-stop around the world and survived. <laughs>